A little explanation as to what a macro is. Uh, some people from a CAD application might refer to a saved circuit as being a block. Within the world of EPON, we refer to our saved circuits or sub circuits as macros. Now, what we can do is have something called a window macro, which is a collection of circuits from one page. We can even have a page macro, which is multiple pages. So, if you have a complete sort of uh, power circuit spanning across uh, two, three pages, that could be selected and dropped into the project in a quick and easy fashion, i.e. dropping one file in there, and that will then come across uh, three or four pages. Macros are the rudimentary basics of your building blocks. So if you're doing a copy and paste on a regular basis from all the or other projects, then I would say consider making a macro. A macro is available from a centralized library accessible to all users. That basically means everyone is working from the same library set. It's a rudimentary basics of building blocks that will take you from copy and pasting all the way to first level automation and the circuits can be utilized in further applications such as code in there which will help with full automation of your designs. So what we'll do, we'll begin by calling up a macro and what we can do is right click here and we can call up the circuit. Now macros could be of different types so as an example on here what we'll do we will go into the Schneider one and those uh, manufacturers folders will be automatically populated if you download a macro or some parts data from our EPLAN data portal. As an example here on the thesis range you can see in the GV section we have a schematic representation and also a 3D representation. So different representation types could even be saved in the same file name for quick and easy use and also minimizes the amount of files you're working to. As an example, what we'll do, we'll go into my folder here, and I have a macro here, which consists of different variants, as we call them. Okay, what we'll do is just look at the first variant, variant A, you can see this is our three phase power lines. Remembering what I said, if everyone is working to the same macro library, everyone's got access to this on a centralized server, everyone can call this one up, press the X key, the Y key, the coordinates, and the placement are the same across all the different projects. Now we can come to the variant technology. So by pressing my tab key here, I'm calling up the next variant, and the variant after that one, and so on and so on. We can have up to 16 variants at the moment per macro type, which is quite considerable, and that will improve the next version of the Econ version 2.8 to 26. Now I'm uh, pausing there at the moment, but what we can do, I can press the tab key again, and we we'll reset back now to variant A, variant B. So if you want one drive, stop at that point or continue with varying choices if you want the more drives in this example. We can confirm the placement just by pressing enter. Now we're on to our value set or data tables. Drive 1, we can size it, now we'll go with a 0.55, the middle drive a 3 kilowatt, and the final one a 4 kilowatt. Confirm we want all the items numbered in this project, so that made the voice duplication. And what we can now do is just take a quick look at the value set here. So this 0.55 is selected, first of all, sized from this data table for protection equipment with a 0.7 amp to 1 amp. Down here we can also see the 1 mil on the 0.55 on the drive. But the data table, let's quickly look inside it, we can see in here all the different drive sizes are our selections. And you can see what we're doing, we're actually changing all the part numbers to all those different server devices on the system. So if I then later on want a quick and easy change, we do a right click, assign value set, and we can go from 0.55 to let's say 4 kilowatt, and remembering that 0.7 amp now becomes 4.5 amp, we change the part number, which will contribute to the material, we've increased the 1 millimeter square to 2.5, and likewise you can see the drive now becomes a 4 kilowatt. Thank you for listening to that, Nicholas.